So good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be wrenching on the car. Trying to get the engine. Oop. Where's the engine? Right there. So this is my coffee. So trying to get the engine back in the car. So it's going to be a long process. It's 7.30 in the morning. Just woke up and I'm not really up for this one. But uh, it's 55 degrees outside. It's raining. It's perfect time to sleep. It's Saturday morning and I don't have to go to work, but I think I have to do this. I have to put all that stuff, put the engine, put everything back in the car. So, uh, let me try this trick. It's not working. Everything is still sitting all over the place. So let me go ahead and uh, clean a lot of this stuff up. I got a bunch of chairs here, a bunch of, I got a ladder too, the A-frame, I got to move that out of the way, uh, this out of the way, I had a guy looking at him last night, he was super interested, but uh, couldn't come up, couldn't make a deal, yeah, fortunately I'm going to keep him until I sell him, but I'm not going to give him away for free either, so, alright, so, let's, uh, let's get to work. Alright guys, so we have it uh, cleaned up a little bit, suspension uh, ready to go on there, we have other stuff going on over here, we have a new balancer pulley, this is the old one, old one looks really bad, uh, all the old lines, clean up the front cover, oil pump cover, clean it up, all of that stuff is going to go back in the way it was. So the garage is all cleaned up and it's ready to go. So now I gotta jump into the engine bay and start cleaning up uh, and uh, wiping down some of the dust. Examine the engine, make sure it's good. Make sure you don't have any crazy parts hanging out on the bottom. It looks really good. All right guys, so a lot of progress has been done today on the video. In the garage, bunch of garbage. Uh, engine is ready to go in. The only thing is, I'm still missing. I'm missing the right tool for the job. So I need to get me another one of these. I waited all day for this one and never got it. And just got a last minute, and it's too small. So it's still not aligning my clutch properly, and I'm not gonna put it back together until I get that done. So that's the only left thing. To do got also a new sensor new oil pump in there new seal new harmonic balancer a lot of new stuff in there so i'm uh, working on a suspension right now everything inside in there it's done i resealed all the wires retaped them all up with a high temperature paint I mean high temperature tape on both sides and uh, I also did I painted the calipers yellow so I think it looks really really good with the car I got that one on just just to see how it's gonna look behind the wheels I think it looks really good it looks a lot better than uh, it looks a lot better than red so I can tell you that I'm gonna have is the tires they are too big 345s the tires are not too big itself they can fit 
I mean, if you look from the back of the car, they're tucked in a lot. I think I can run a easily 10 or 15 mil spacer to bring them out and to free up some space back here because right here where my hand is I don't have enough room back there and if I lower the car it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna hit the plastic back there the inner fender so that's another issue that I just ran into but that's not gonna be an issue because I'll get some spacers maybe 10 mil or 15 mil throw them in there and see how far I can push the wheel out just until I get a, get rid of the tires when I put a new tires on I'm not gonna have that issue because I am going 325 on the tire and it's gonna be perfect it's not gonna have any issues <laughs> back in AC going on brackets water pump head is back on really soon it's gonna be on its own So we have a car sitting on three jacks, huh? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, we got less and less parts on the floor. Almost there. How's that going? Hopefully it's not just spinning in place. Is that what it looks like? No, it's going in. And here you go, you got a motor in. And a couple screws. And a bunch left to go. Radiator needs to go in and coolers. Everything hooked up. We can throw fluids in and then uh, hook everything up, change the valve covers, put all the body parts on the car. And uh, to be honest with you, we don't have a whole lot, whole lot of parts still that needs to go back in the car. I mean, we still got a lot of things going on, but the car is looking really good the way it is. And I'm really excited about getting it ready and getting it fired up. So, so I'll uh, continue working and uh, record as much as I can from this point on. I think it's going to be a lot easier. It's going to be manageable. I can record and actually put some of this stuff back together. So, but uh, yeah, keep it up, guys.